Yo, welcome everyone. A new significant move can now be expected in Bitcoin to happen very soon and most probably it is not exactly what you're expecting. First of all, we are going to notice that we are once again trading exactly at our weekly area of resistance, where, of course, we would really like to see a successful breakout towards the upside. The move up that occurred yesterday towards the weekly happened exactly from the area we mentioned in our yesterday's video. I only gave you one very important level, and that was the liquidity level below our previous low that was aligning very, very nicely with our mid-level of a significant SNE channel. And you're going to notice that the mid-level of our SNE channel right there and also the liquidity level, both of them were hit almost to the exact dollar accuracy. And exactly from there, we are right now seeing a very nice push towards the upside, directly towards, once again, a very important area of resistance. Because yesterday we were still staying definitely bullish on Bitcoin, we were also interested to fire a brand new long position on one of the altcoins. And yes, I am going to update you on the situation on this specific altcoin slightly later. Now we need to talk about what is happening locally on the one hourly and also on the two hourly time frame. Because when you right now pay attention to the volume, you're going to notice that we are seeing quite a big decrease of the volume right there, which pretty much means people are not really interested trading Bitcoin at this specific area at approximately 67, 68,000 US dollars. And some of them are even started to pay attention to some kind of a pattern. And that pattern is going to be when we connect our higher highs with a diagonal area of resistance, connecting our higher lows with a diagonal area of support, it really looks like that Bitcoin might even be forming some kind of a rising wedge pattern. Now, to be honest, I actually would say that if we do see a push towards the upside above our previous high, yes, this specific area is a very important area of resistance. And then, of course, we can expect another push towards the downside. However, if we do right now see already a push down breaking this specific rising wedge pattern to be honest i am still not really flipping extremely bearish and let me right now share with you why if you maybe do follow me on twitter you would maybe already know about the level i mentioned yesterday and that was the support area at 66,100 us dollars and i actually said so far bitcoin still haven't really shown any major signs of weaknesses we are only seeing a choppy price action which looks extremely correct that means higher probability we eventually create a new higher high. So this right here is actually very, very important because we can notice volume is going lower and lower and lower, which means that this entire price structure is most probably a correction, which means we have a higher probability of at least creating another higher high very, very soon. But once we create a higher high, then we need to start being slightly more careful. And let me write a do share with you what we can actually be expecting most probably to happen in the upcoming hours. I am personally not going to right now go with our rising wedge pattern right here, but actually go with a brand new SNE channel, connecting our higher highs, expanding this one towards some side. It also does look like we could be identifying some kind of an SNE channel right here. And yes, if we do go higher right now, the top of our SNE channel is a very important area of resistance that we are going to talk about slightly later. Now, I do need to share with you another very nice bullish indication when we zoom out and it still looks like we are early in this specific bull cycle. Before we do talk about that, I would really appreciate if you actually smash up the like button because 600 likes are definitely very much possible today. And also I would appreciate if you subscribe to the channel because we are targeting 100,000 subscribers, hopefully before Bitcoin is going to reach 100,000 US dollars. Now let's talk about this very interesting chart. Plan C posted actually this specific chart that is DK's channel oscillator. And pay attention to the upper picture right here. It definitely does look like, as of right now, we are coming towards 2025. This specific indicator got a push towards the upside, once again into definitely deep green area, and at the moment we are seeing a very nice bounce towards the upside. We were at the bottom back in 2023, and also at the start of 2024, but as of right now, because 
because we got a retracement back down, it still looks like we are early in this specific cycle. We are only topping out once this specific indicator is in the red area. And at the moment, I think we can all agree we are not even close. And that is why, overall speaking, when we are zooming out for Bitcoin, I would still say it is time for you to be accumulating as much altcoins as possible. Maybe not really go with a long or a buy position of Bitcoin at this specific area, but nevertheless, a lot of altcoins, if you're accumulating them in terms of a spot position, I would still say they are most probably a good buy. That's why now we need to pay attention once again to the Bitcoin price itself, let's say on the two hour time frame, before I am going to show you another very nice bullish Bitcoin indication. When we are measuring the entire upper price section with our volume, you're going to notice that Bitcoin is trading at the value area high and the point of control. So once again, we are trading at the area of resistance and that is simply why we shouldn't really be interested to go with a brand new long or a buying position. That doesn't mean we cannot long other altcoins because as I actually said yesterday, I am much more interested to fire a brand new long position on one of the altcoins. But yes, we are going to talk about that in a moment. Now we need to understand bitcoin hit the value area high we are trading at the point of control which is the biggest volume cluster of the entire upper price action which means we are at the area of resistance if we are going to see a push towards the downside from this specific level, the only next level I would like to be paying attention to is the value area low, which aligns very nicely with the previous low, which means we have liquidity right here. And once again, you guessed it, the bottom of our very important SNE channel, let's just say at approximately 66,200 US dollars. This specific area of support was also mentioned on Twitter, where we also do have our golden Fibonacci ratio. But to be honest, we do not really want to lose this specific level because in that case, we are going to come very, very close towards our daily and weekly. The moment we start breaking our daily and weekly area of support towards downside, this right here is actually going to be quite a big bearish Bitcoin indication. And that is why if we do see right now a rejection towards downside from this specific area of resistance right here, this level right there really needs to hold. But again, because we are in an uptrend, we have a higher probability of holding this specific support area and maybe where we can even be interested to fire a brand new long or a buying position on the Bitcoin price itself. And let me write and do share with you why overall speaking, not only this specific chart is saying to us we are early in the Bitcoin cycle, but also this specific indicator is as of right now also seeing another confirmation of a significant uptrend. Titan of Crypto actually posted a powerful trend move has just begun as a katana just formed on the daily time frame. A katana is when Tenkan and Kaijun overlap. This typically happens after a sharp breakout of Kaijun. If Kaijun follows Tenkan once they separate, it signals a strong continuation. So what the heck am I even talking about? This is going to be with the Ichimoku cloud indicator. And it does look like as of right now, we are seeing this specific cross. The last time we got this specific bullish cross, Bitcoin got another quite a significant push towards the upside. And as of right now, we are even trading above this specific diagonal area of resistance on the Bitcoin chart itself, seeing some kind of a breakout towards the upside. So not only the indicator as of right now is confirming a bullish trend on the daily time frame, but also we are seeing a successful breakout. We are early in the cycle. And also as of now at this specific area, the price action looks very, very corrective. And that is simply why even if we do see right now another push towards downside, this is the area where yes, I'm interested to fire a brand new long or a buying position and most probably trading it towards the channel high, which is going to reach the area of approximately 70,000 US dollars. And before we do talk about our first very important price target, if you want to also fire this specific trade, you can do so with a free trade on Bybit with the first link down below. Click the first link right here and after you register and after initial deposit, you're going to get a free 500 USDT position airdrop. The time is limited for this specific campaign, but nevertheless, in the upcoming days, we can definitely
definitely be looking for a brand new trait right here or if you don't want to complete kyc blowfin is as of right now offering to you a free 100 refund if you're potentially going to make a loss in trading but because bitcoin is entering a significant uptrend on all of the time frames i would simply say now is the time for us to look for those high quality setups because most probably we are going to be playing in easy mode because most probably everything is going to be pumping definitely very much higher towards the upside but how high can bitcoin actually go in the upcoming days top of the channel is coming up at approximately 69,700 us dollars and when we go on the four hour time frame or actually on the daily time frame you can notice that our previous high is going to happen at approximately 70,000 us dollars and this level right here the previous high is actually going to be my next very important price target because it is going to be our next very important liquidity level so the plan on bitcoin is as of right now staying very very simple overall we are expecting higher overall we would like to see our previous high at our weekly to be taken out sooner rather than later we know that if we do see push towards downside once again towards the 66,200 us dollars area here we can be looking for a brand new long quarry buying position targeting once again at least a higher high or ideally the top of our SNA channel at approximately 70,000 US dollars. Make sure you're managing your risk correctly because in a case we lose the support area right here, significant bearish indication and then we are most probably expecting a bigger retracement, a bigger push towards the downside. Now, if we go straight towards the upside once again, this is definitely what I would prefer, but nevertheless, the targets are pretty much staying exactly the same. At least take the high right here, monitor then the reaction or if we are then going to continue even higher, the next target is going to be our higher liquidity level at 70,000 US dollars. Now, I would really like to show you the update on this specific position we took yesterday. But before that, I just want to share with you what is happening generally with the entire altcoins market. Yoda posted another very interesting chart saying the calm before the storm. And it really looks like that as of right now, we are entering or actually we are still in the reaccumulation phase, which it does look like usually it means after we break out of the reaccumulation phase we are expecting pretty much another significant all-time high so this specific chart in my opinion does look very very nice and the entire cycle the entire pattern we have been forming for the past couple of years right here looks very very similar to the previous one so because of that after we break out of the reaccumulation phase another push towards the upside and most probably also a breakout from the previous all-time high can be expected that is why i'm staying bullish not only on bitcoin but also on the entire altcoins market and that is of course also why i yesterday entered a brand new position on say usdt which as of right now it is performing not super nice we haven't really seen any major reactions at this specific area and my trade as of right now it's pretty much at break even now because i'm expecting higher targets on bitcoin i am also expecting of course higher targets to happen on say usdt that being said if first of all bitcoin does see a rejection towards the downside from the area where we are right now trading that being said if we do see a rejection from our weekly and see a push towards downside towards the bottom of our ascending channel most probably also say usdt can see another very slight push towards downside but here please do not get really scared we are trading at a significant area of support value area low it's as of right now still holding and that being said even if we go right now slightly lower we we have our previous low which could mean we take the liquidity below the previous low we are still trading in the one day fair value gap and then if of course bitcoin does see push down this one might follow liquidity grab below the low and only then of course we might be expecting a bounce towards the upside the first important level you should be aware of this specific chart is going to be the point of control at approximately 45 cents which is slightly lower than our previous high which is acting as a liquidity level but nevertheless this specific chart as of right now is not releasing any major reactions at our support level right here but because we are staying bullish on bitcoin even if we are right now going to go slightly lower towards some side i am expecting a bounce on say usdt that is why i'm holding a long or a buy position and also if bitcoin does see a rejection from this specific area where we are trading at the moment i'm also potentially interested to fire a brand new long right here at six six thousand us dollars again with proper stop loss with proper risk management in case we are maybe even going to lose our support level but until the support level is lost it is still a support level and because we are in an uptrend the support level simply does have a higher probability of holding if you also want to enter this specific trade
trade on say or maybe even on bitcoin you can do so with a free one on bybit with the first thing down below after initial deposit and thank you for smashing up the like button